I just have to make this spontaneous musing. And I don't know if I can put it into words, but something just... I was listening to a person's video. And when they spoke of... Um, something in regards to... Um, unless you are... Um, thinking in terms of the perfection of Jesus Christ. Um, it's just the way the phrase resonated with me, the way it hit my chords and and it, it pinged me and the, the resonance that came out of it is just... Mm. I mean, I feel like I feel like the the biggest heretic because I'm constantly picking at and negating uh, the beliefs that we hold about Jesus Christ. Right? We have this notion that Jesus is the image of perfection, like. When we're speaking in terms of perfection, of course, we will never think of ourselves. We have that name and that image of Jesus in our mind, in our subconscious. But you have to remember, how did that get there? How did that image, how was that image formed in your subconscious? It was a mixture and an amalgamation of the trauma that you sustained in childhood and out of that victim, out of that feeling, that undefined feeling, which started as a feeling, that developed into um, this, this belief that the only measure of perfection is Jesus Christ based on what we were taught and read in the Bible and how it was interpreted by theology. And it created this distance, it created this separation that we can never reach perfection because we cannot measure up to Jesus as the Son of God, as the Son of God, while we in 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 that indoctrination we didn't think of ourselves as son of god but the point i'm trying to make god i'm not i'm not meaning to harp on the man that may have walked the earth that may have been crucified and his name was jesus or yeshua that's not what i'm going after i am going I'm trying to pinpoint the subconscious beliefs that we formed around that information that now today are sabotaging our life. So that's why I constantly scrutinize these statements, these beliefs that are not based in any actual eyewitness accounts but that we have formed through um, the transmittance of the telephone game translations from original language from one translation to the next to the next where we today think that is what Jesus said and that is how our beliefs were formed in the subconscious they're not actually real eyewitness account truth. We're imagining who Jesus was and what Jesus said and meant. We're imagining that now, 2,000 years after the actual event. So just keep that in mind. Everything is mental imagination mixed together with the emotions and feelings of trauma and our mind, mental mind, 
our ego mind, trying to hold the balance between pain, painful memories, and a way to cope, a way to survive. And our ego mind creates a story that we have convinced ourselves to be the truth. My point is everything is a mental fabrication um, based on traumatic emotions and feelings in the subconscious. And we are constantly creating our own personal truth. And I question all of that now because I understand these three dimensions in our human makeup. I understand how they play together like instruments, but not always in harmony. And you need to question all of your beliefs because your beliefs originate based on these three factors I just mentioned. There is no perfection that Jesus demonstrated. There is only the perfection that your mind is imagining about him and how you fall short of that image. But it's all illusion. You are perfect if you can uncover and unveil these false beliefs that are um, manipulating and driving your life right now, right? You are actually the creator of everything. You're the creator of beliefs. You are creator of truths that you are still forming. And it all is based in our subconscious. That's why it is so important to become familiar with the deeper layers of our subconscious mind. Recently, I reinterpreted the scripture, repent and be baptized, to mean turn within, turn inward, and be immersed in the waters of your subconscious mind. And that will bring your salvation from the inside out as you get to know yourself, as you get to know the reasons of why you do the things you do. I hope this helps. Um, like I say, I can't point you to any literature that will back this up. This is just a resonant ping that my intuitive, my soul is picking up on uh, uh, from a unconscious signal. And I just want to make the unconscious conscious so that you can understand yourself better and find your true self.